Good morning, my lovely Taurus. Welcome to your March reading. Even through this is for March, you can see this whenever it comes to you. My readings are always timeless. There's always a reason for when you see your readings. So this month, I have pre-shuffled these three decks. We're going to just pick up, um, yeah, take the first cards. With this one, it's going to be a message from your higher self. I also have novel tarot that we're going to dig into. But first of all, let's just talk about what's happening around you and intuitive messages. You can obviously be Taurus, you can be dealing with a Taurus, you can have Taurus wherever in your chart. Remember to check out your other signs because there might be other or more messages for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles, you can be male, you can be female. There is something that's coming into your life sooner than you expect it, or sooner than you think. I did hear someone say it's a mindset, because it's already here. It's like opening a door, and suddenly, it's there. Maybe, for some reason, I feel maybe it has something to do with a letter, or um, oh, something that you receive in a mailbox, commercial, a note, a small thing, a token, or a sign, a spider maybe. <laughs> I know it's going to freak some people out, but maybe there is something. Maybe it's a feather. I mean, it can be many things because the universe doesn't care how it's delivering the messages. It's going to deliver the messages. Also, if that means you seeing a red rabbit, because we all know it's never going to happen, but if the universe wants to show you a red rabbit, it will. I do feel that you gained mental clarity the past month. Your heart chakra feels so soft. It feels open. I did hear someone say sweet kisses. So maybe you are dating someone. Maybe there is someone coming in. Someone is thinking about kissing you. There is a window opening up for you the next month ahead. This is for you to receive gifts, your gifts. It's many gifts. It's abundance. It's you being recognized. You are already being recognized. But there's a shift happening when it comes to how you're being recognized or from who you are being recognized. There is a shift happening. It's for some reason I feel like it's, the, it's not the same people recognizing you, it's new people. And that causes, well, I don't want to see it, I just saw tree tree, it causes a challenge and it causes mental clutter. But again, the first message was that you have gained mental clarity. So obviously this can be something that you will gain because of whatever happens. I did hear someone say, never stop believing. <laughs> someone pointed out something about the song. Remember the song? I do have a feeling who <laughs> this message is for, but it's for a lot of you guys too. There's something about the song. Remember the song. You deserve all this. I feel it's a message that you have received in a vision or from your spirit guides because I, I see someone standing next to you pointing being like you deserve all this these things and then I heard someone say eyes of the eagle and an eagle is a sign of rebirth which is also something that came up in the full moon in Virgo that we had it's a sign for spring. It's directing you into spring, which is interesting because we are moving into spring. It's a sign of renewed life force. Passing difficult times. Leaving difficult times. 525 five with that. And with the ego, now that it was eagle eyes, it's you raising above the challenges, it's you 
flying higher, raising your vibrations and seeing things from a higher perspective. Maybe this is connected with the vision, my spirit guide. Doing the dark new moon that we have in Pisces on the 13th of March. Your thoughts turn to your inner circle. There might be someone who take or took advantage of you that needs to go. New moons does mark a fresh start. So that is what's being promised to you. But there might be someone that you need to let go or someone that took advantage of you. But let's jump into the messages. I did get told to take two of these. Pleasure. Ooh, look at the deer. I feel some of you guys have seen a, a sign, a real deer. A deal? A, a real deal? Well, maybe it's connected with a deal. Um, a real deer. And look at the... It looks like spring. And we have um, taking risks. Of course, I had to take two cards. Oh my god, I just realized that. Of course! That's the ego! Oh my god, people! <laughs> my phone vibrated, so, uh, vibrated somewhere. Ah, oh, okay, it was just Moon Moon. <laughs> moon Moon left the area. <laughs> I always get noticed when that happened, happens. But there are so many signs in these cards. First of all, there's a, a portal here. It seems a little dark, dull. It seems like dawn, which is interesting because I know eagles are also a sign of dawn. Hmm. Wow. The pathway leads up there, there's flowers, there is a, is it a crescent moon, I can never remember. You are free. Wow. Powerful. Taking risks, yeah. There's pleasure in you taking risks in the new. So, stepping out of your comfort zone is a big deal for you. Then we have Camelot. Camelot. You can see that it feels like there is a long way, right, for him. But you can't tell if it's just because it goes downhill and then you don't have to walk that far. I do feel it's a perspective. Again, it's a perspective. We have honor, trust, yeah. Ideals, aspiration. It's such a big sign for you. It's not that far. You're so, you're way closer than you think. And the message from your higher self is one. You have six here, you have six here. Whoa. Six, six. 66. Maybe that's a number you need to look up. There's something about the colors. If some of you guys are painting or if some of you guys are working with colors, maybe there's inspiration in blue and yellow and a tiny bit of purple. Maybe some of you guys see some kind of pattern, you recognize something in it. There's pleasure in slowing down for you, taking it slow. One step after another. You don't need to rush. But you need to take risks. You need to just, again, build momentum. You need to just go out there. One step. It all it is all it takes. One step. There's this energy of stop up and smell the roses. I do feel there's no, nothing separating you from your spiritual journey or nothing separating you from you and your goals. There's no separation anymore. It's important for you to open your heart. Truly open your heart. By you doing that, you're going to find the bridge to understand and trusting in this new journey of you. There's perfection in that. There's perfection in trusting. So, there's a message of not to worry. All is happening exactly as it should. There is something coming together. There is a resolution of 
the challenges and the worries. And again, it is coming sooner than you think. Wait and see. I heard someone say, wait and see. Wait and see. One. I like that video. Okay, let's see. It's interesting because Moon Moon is coming back, then she's leaving the area. <laughs> okay, what is the message for you? Whoa! Aha! The world! And oh yeah, the <laughs> star! Whoa! Two major uh, arcanas. I did hear two major chakras. So I don't know if you're restoring something about your chakras, major chakras. It could be your throat chakra, third eye, and your crown chakra. And by that, I heard someone say clouded vision. So you are restoring that, healing that, seeing the path, being seen, moving out there in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Are you afraid of being seen? Trust the wor words that you speak. Hmm. There might be someone in your life who said something to you about you being seen, about you stepping out there, about confidence. That either this triggered you in the past, or it still triggers you, or it's something that, I don't know, I heard someone say it pulled you apart, or it's <laughs> flushed through, I heard someone say. I had things to say, you know, the top of my head. head. His, does it has something to do with the crown chakra? Did someone say something about the crown chakra or about you opening up fully? One step. One. Hmm. Something will happen when we come into July. Because I just got pointed out to the, the line, which is Leo Energy, which is June, July, right? There's uh, some kind of problem that needs to be addressed. And I feel it has something to do with a block. It has something to do with the past. Because again, Six of Swords reversed, Judgment reversed. <sighs> Belief system. You are ready. Whatever is holding your back is tiny. Finding yourself in an old pattern. Finding it hard to break loose. Break free. And the judgment card comes before the, the world. So this is what's holding you back. This is what's holding you back. There's celebration, maybe even a move. What's holding you back? Taking risks. Is it because that you feel like you're healing slow? Is it because that you feel that things are going slow? There's something that needs to happen here. I feel this is the message for you, dear Taurus. I hope you could use this. Let me know in the comment below. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!